Studios make sequels when the original film was a success, and they try to make the sequel bigger, better, funnier, just more of what the original was. And we have good examples, such as 22 Jump Street, How to Train Your Dragon 2, The Godfather Part 2, or Terminator 2. Now, if you're hoping for Ted 2 to be better than Ted 1, I'm sorry, but you're gonna be really disappointed. Ted 2 is directed by Seth MacFarlane, and it stars Mark Wahlberg, Seth MacFarlane, Amanda Seyfried, Morgan Freeman, and many other celebrity cameos. It's basically about Ted getting married to this human wife, and they want to make a baby. But obviously Ted uh, can't reproduce because he's a stuffed teddy bear, so he tries to find a sperm donor. Also, it's kind of about Mark Wahlberg trying to get back into the game and try to get a girlfriend since Mila Kunis broke up with him, so he tries to find a girlfriend as well. Now, I didn't really like the original. I thought it was very silly, very rude, and not really funny. But from the trailer that I saw for Ted 2, I thought that this was going to be actually really good and much better than, than the first one. But this movie, guys, is surprisingly terrible. First of all, let's start with the story. The story is so boring for a comedy. The story is basically Ted trying to find a sperm donor for his uh, child, and he goes to court and stuff like that. The subject matter is so serious, and it's just not fun to watch. It's very, very boring. One reason is because none of the jokes are funny. All of the jokes are just cliche and just absolutely terrible. For example, both Mark Wahlberg and Amanda Seyfried are super tired, so they let Ted drive their car. And basically, it's just Ted smoking weed, driving the car, uh, hitting cars on the road, throwing out his uh, soda can, hitting someone's uh, front window of their car so that person crashes in the background. And basically, that's the entire movie. It's just those kind of jokes. There are literally only four times when I forced myself to kind of like smile because those jokes were kind of funny, I suppose. In these kind of comedies, like Ted, the subject matter has to be fun. Like, the first film was kind of fun. It's a talking teddy bear who smokes weed and is rude. And that was original, that was kind of funny. And the story in the original was pretty fun. But this story is incredibly just dull and boring. It's not interesting at all. There's like a 10 minute lawsuit scene and it's not fun at all. This is Ted. This is like a serious matter that's going on and there are no funny jokes in it. This movie's story feels like these random elements that don't really have a purpose, that are put into the story, that tries to make the movie entertaining, whereas it's not. It's so contrived and it's so boring. Once again, the movie is not interesting. It just tries to be entertaining by adding these random story elements and situations that occur in order to progress the story, the film, and to just make the movie entertaining, but it's not. Also, the entire plot of the movie makes no sense at all. It's absurd. So Ted is uh, sued in the court of law for the fact that he is apparently not a human. He is an object. But Ted is alive, and he speaks, and he has emotions. Can't you just tell that from his presence there? Why do you need to prove and go through all this screen time in order to have this lawsuit case against him to prove that Ted is a human. He is human because he talks and they keep questioning if he's an object or not. You can clearly tell that he has emotions. It makes no sense at all. This is so stupid and boring. Oh my god. <laughs> also, the characters, Mark Wahlberg and uh, Ted, were just completely unlikable, really. They just swore all the time and did incredibly ridiculously idiotic things like and Ted wasn't even likable in, in this one in the first one he was kind of likable he was kind of rude and funny that was okay but in this one it's just such a serious film like all these things that happen are completely serious and Ted himself and Mark Wahlberg are not lovable characters I didn't care about them at all also, this film takes characteristics of Ted and Mark Wahlberg from, from the first one, such as them smoking weed and them being rude, and puts these things in randomly, and it's so contrived. Like, there's this random part 
where they find this gigantic uh, marijuana plantation. And it's just like, okay, we know that these guys like to smoke weed. It's not funny anymore. Move on. Add something different to the story or to his character, like his character changes. But nope. Also, everyone in this movie is an idiot. Basically, there's this gay couple that just keeps punching and just giving wedgies and just completely being complete assholes to the, these uh, nerds at Comic-Con. And you're seeing this and you're like, this is like a terrible, scary movie five. This is not funny. This is, this is just so disgusting and you want to throw up because it's just, it's so rude and just gross. Like, why are these people hitting these random other people? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just so stupid and revolting. So yeah, I think I said everything I wanted to say about this movie. Uh, don't watch it. It is incredibly disappointing. Uh, it's, first of all, story is incredibly boring. None of the jokes are funny. That's the main thing. It's a comedy. It's supposed to be funny. It's not. It's not funny at all. That's why it makes the entire film really, really boring and dull. It's just not fun. We're just neutral to, to the characters. The plot elements don't make sense. It just, it's so contrived. The only good thing about this movie is the acting is fine, uh, and oh, oh, the opening sequence, the, the opening credit sequence was cool. It's like this uh, big choreographed dance. That's probably the only thing that's actually good about this movie. Four little jokes are okay, uh, the acting's fine, the animation of Ted, and the opening credit sequence. Now, when I say that the opening credit sequence is the best part of this movie, that's not a good thing, guys. I'm gonna give Ted 2 a 4 out of 10. Guys, don't waste your money on Ted 2. This movie is just terrible. Go watch Inside Out, Pixar's new film. It is a masterpiece. Don't watch Ted 2. Thank you so much for listening, guys. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe for more movie reviews and film discussion videos. Um, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Bye.